have a very exciting unboxing. Um, I got this um, car from um, HobbyTune.com. It's actually just listed as 118th scale four wheel drive short course truck. It doesn't say a company name. But when I got it, um, today it actually said um, HSP on the box. So apparently it's, it's HSP racing tire. That's just my charger. Um, so yeah, without further talk, let's get right into it. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty sweet. It's nice and small. Ooh, sweet. Now this. Oh wow, that actually came cut. I think that was supposed to be attached to the bumper, I guess. But the back one is still still attached. Let's go ahead and cut that off. There we go. Let's take get the car out of out of the box. Here, what else do we have in there? Looks like probably a radio. This is a completely RTR instruction manual out right there. Put the box away. Looks like that's it for now. Just get the radio out. It's actually also zip tied inside. There we go. Pull out the zip tie. And let's open it up. Looks like we have a stuck radio. Nice. Looking, it's pretty big. I, I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be a micro unit, which is actually a micro unit can be nice for kids, but um, I, I rather the big one um, since I'm not really a kid. So let's take a look and hear what else we have. Just a charger. Ooh, and that plug. Most of the world will recognize that plug. However, U.S. Um, citizens will not you'll have to run an adapter in my case I'm probably just going to cut the lead and use my charger okay let's get a little closer and take a look at the truck side view those tires actually feel pretty sticky um, yeah okay let's take off the body Anyways, here we go. Um, I got those body clips off. They were actually pretty stubborn. And let's take a look. First of all, this body shell is really thick. If it's made from Lexan, it's really high quality Lexan. And um, it's really thick. I would say it's thicker than standard 110 scale bodies, which can kind of be not so great in the case of it's quite heavy for what it is. But without that, let's take a look at the truck. Runs a little 30, 3070, 370 brushed motor. It has an all-in-one receiver, ESC, and servo. Um, that's to lower the price. And I saw an antenna tube in the instruction manual that's going to go right there. And let's take a look at the shocks. Um, these are supposedly oil-filled shocks. Now you can't expect you can't expect the truck to do some big jumping and running and um, so those are small shocks. They're pretty simple and um, they might just do a good job. In general, small trucks are anyways quite bouncy. The suspension in the front seems to be sti um, stiffer than the suspension in the rear, which is kind of I would think it would be better the opposite, but. This is just the way it is, and the the front ones are smaller than the rear ones, so you will have to, um, you can't just switch to front and rear. And let's take a look at this battery. It comes with a little tiny nickel metal hydride pack. Hopefully these body clips won't be so stubborn. That one's a bit on an angle, so it might just be a thin. That one came right off. Um... And this is a um, nickel metal hydride 2 to 3 amp 
1,100 milliamp, 7.2 volt, which means it's a 6 cell. And it's pretty small, but it's good. It's quite heavy, too, so I'm, it seems like this car just might get good run times off of this little pack. It has a little tiny Molex. It's kind of like a Molex, but it's just much smaller. Um, anyways, let's take a look at the drivetrain. The drivetrain looks like plastic dog bones and plastic cups. I know this cup, this um, car has plastic gears as well. Um, so, it's just brushed. That's all it needs. I, I doubt it you'll ever break any gears unbrushed unless you upgrade it to brush, brushless. Remember, the gears are just plastic. The tires feel really good too. They're nice and soft and they're pretty sticky for such a small um, car and um, another thing that really worries me is first of all there's a lot of slop in the, in the steering without moving the tires and it once it steers it's a very little um, steering that servo seems I think it's just gonna be a very lazy servo um, I hope not anyways um, look out for a running video in the future and um, remember this car is only sold for $22 and I think it's a pretty good value um, plus shipping it would probably end up about 45 but to compare that to the Dromita series and other micros that are around 80 or a hundred dollars for 1 18th scale I think this is a pretty good value um, there's tons of um, parts in the manual and stuff so it looks like there won't be a problem with part support and um, go, just go to hobbyking.com and um, that's all that's about it it's a, I think it's gonna be a fun little truck and it looks pretty good I'm hoping it's durable it's not um, it's not top quality 1 18th scale but I think um, this is a much better value than the Dromita series and just for size comparison here it is next to my Nitro Turnigy Nitro Rumble which is um, I just finished the engine braking and I do, did not make an unboxing but hopefully soon I'll have a running video um, plus reviews and much more and there is my hand on this little one this little guy here's my hand on this little guy I mean big guy and anyways um, uh, subscribe to my video uh, subscribe to my channel if um, you like the video if you didn't go ahead hit thumbs down either way thanks for watching I'll see you next